The first stage in creating the contour map or including the contour lines is to create a surface. So over in the tool space, we're going to select surfaces, right mouse button click and create surface. Select the defaults and press OK. Here you can see we've generated a new surface called surface three. And under that surface, we need to add in some points that'll help to define where the surface actually occurs. So selecting surface three and expanding definition, we're going to go to point groups and we're going to add in the various point groups that we want to define where the surface actually occurs. Here you can see all the point groups that I have. And I'm going to select the points or the point groups that relate to points on the, on the ground. Curb, path, fence, and land. I'm not going to include the control points because some of those are at a different height. Neither am I going to include the building points because they could be at a different height as well. So select curb path, fence, and land for myself. Press OK. And you can see that based on those points, Civils 3D has generated a surface. And with this surface, we're going to use that to draw on our contour lines. Once we have our surface created, we have one contour line shown. So we want to increase the number of contours available so we can see how the topography changes. To do that, we select on the surface that we've generated, in this case, surface three, right mouse button click and go to surface properties. Here you can change the name of the surface if you want to. But more importantly, I'm going to select surface style. Here it's selected contours, two meters and 10 meters. And I want to edit the selection. Under contours, we've got a number of range uh, options. First one we're going to do is contour intervals. If we expand this one, we can see base elevation of zero, minor interval. So and for our application, I'm going to change down the minor interval to 0.1 of a meter and automatically the major interval has changed to 0.5 of a meter. Apply that. And you can see the contour lines have been generated. What you can do with the contour lines, if we go back into edit that selection, you can change contour intervals to suit, or what we can do is uh, we can change the smoothing of the contours. If I turn the smoothing off, you can see that the contours that are generated are more sharp. If we go back um, under contour smoothing, I can turn the contour smoothing on and the slider bar at the bottom adjusts the amount of smoothing to be applied. So if you want to smooth the selection a little bit more, I can see the contour lines are not as sharp as previously. Next, with our contours drawn, we're going to put some contour labels on to show the height for each of the contour lines. To do that, we select the surface and the menu bar has changed. And on the Add Labels tab, pull down and we're going to add in, first of all, contour multiple. We're going to draw a line across our site and everywhere this line intersects with a contour line 
I will put on the height value for that contour line. <clears throat> Similarly, under Add Labels, we can choose Contour Single. So everywhere we select on a contour line, it will put in a single spot value. Here you can see we've added in the values, but the values of those texts are quite large. So I want to reduce down the size of the text. So selecting either a single contour label or the multiple contour label. Up to the menu bar in General Tools, I want to select Similar so that I will select all the contour labels. And you can see the multiple one and single points have been selected. Under that, the menu bar, we're going to go to Properties. And we're going to change the label size for the major contour line here, it's shown in white, and for the minor contour line here, shown in grey. To do that, under the properties window, we're going to go to surface, contour la label style major, select the window, pull down and we're going to edit that selection. Existing major labels, we'll edit current selection. In layout, text, we've got a text height. I'm going to reduce down the text height to half, 1.25. You can see in the preview window, window the text size has been reduced down, and we'll OK that. Then you can see where you have the white contour line, the label, contour label has been reduced down by half. We need to repeat the same on the minor contour labels. So back up to the Properties window and Surface Contour Label Style Minor. Select this one and we want to edit it. Existing Minor Labels and we'll edit this one. Come down to the text height. Decrease the text height by half. Apply that. OK. And OK, and then that will change the contours labels down in size. Now we can go and we can plot uh, this information 